You've probably added pig meal to your pap, custard, or milo. But what happens if you drink it alone? No sugar, no cereal. Let's test what it does to my blood sugar. After a 16 hour fast, I will drink one full tin of pig milk, 140 ml. No bread, no pap, just milk on its own. I want to see how this creamy Nigerian staple affects blood sugar on an empty stomach. According to the label, every 100 ml contains 11.5 grams of carbs, 8.5 grams of fat, and 4.4 grams of saturated fat. So in this full 100 140 ml, that's about 16.1 grams of carbs, 11.9 grams of fat, and 6.2 grams of saturated fat. That's a decent carb load, so I expect at least a small spike, considering the fact that 16.1 grams of carbs is equivalent to 4 cubes of sugar in our blood. Let's see what happens. Alright, 2 hours have passed since I drank, and I observed the movement on my continuous glucose monitor. My CGM showed no spike at all, zero movement. Blood sugar stayed flat and calm. From start to finish, it held steady at the 90s. Hmm, that's very surprising. Here is a likely reason, the fat. Fat slows down how quickly carbs hit our bloodstream. So even though pig meat contains sugar in form of lactose, the high fat kept things chill. That's pretty impressive considering that I was expecting some form of a spike, at least a little movement. Anyway, don't forget that this is my result. Yours may be different especially if you're diabetic. Follow me, comment what drink you want me to test next and stay tuned for more.